my lunch is gonna be really subpar today. everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Peyton if you guys are new here we're gonna try to drive even though I know that you guys are gonna tip over welcome to a day in the life in pediatrics I am very excited to be filming this today because this is my last week of pediatrics so this will be my last pediatric vlog I'm just excited to kind of share with you guys what my days look like so today I've had kind of two different preceptors also it is so foggy outside right now it's crazy so today I'm with um, a doctor and really it's the same thing for each one my other preceptors a PA but it's like the same exact thing every day depending on the day I'll either work kind of like an 8 to 5 situation or 7 to 4 today is 7 to 4 so I got up literally so early 5 40 a.m. and I wanted to throw up when my alarm went off I was feeling so sleepy but we are awake and ready to go now I've been loving this rotation if you guys have been watching my other videos I feel like you guys would know that we're at a red light now so I've been loving it um, I basically see every patient by myself and create like a little plan by myself and then my preceptor will go in and talk to them and you know add in anything that they think we see lots of well childs lots of like sick visits like you know maybe RSV ear infections that sort of thing yeah it's been lovely so I work it's an outpatient clinic sorry you guys can like barely see me right now I need to focus on the road you know what I mean <laughs> outpatient clinic so uh, yeah Monday through Friday Fridays I get half days which is just literally so splendid so anyways I just wanted to take you guys through my day show you guys kind of my morning you guys just saw my morning routine and now we're heading into work for a seven o'clock start time that we're in the car I really hope nobody from my office sees me right now. I just warmed up my hoopy lunch, this little frozen meal. It's really all I had. Oh my God, that's so that 100% the doctor that I work with who just drove past me. Severely embarrassed, but hopefully he didn't notice me. This morning went so well. I just love pediatrics, you guys. And this office, literally the most splendid staff ever. My preceptors are amazing. The medical assistants are amazing. Like I would work here if I could. I do not plan on living in the Lansing area. I'm in a safer environment. I actually quickly drove over to my boyfriend's apartment because he lives literally maybe a three minute drive from my place of work. So I'm gonna just hang out with him for a little bit. He's not quite here yet. Honestly, I love this rotation so much. I feel like I'm going to be severely depressed this next rotation. I start surgery next week and since day freaking one of even like thinking about clinicals, surgery's been the one that I'm just dreading. And honestly, I hate to admit that because I really, I really like to have a positive outlook on most things in life like I really really do all throughout rotations I've always told myself don't go into something close-minded and I am well aware I'm being extremely close-minded right now a I genuinely do not do well with body fluids like vomit blood and those are the two main ones that I like really 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 don't do well with I get really queasy myself and also smells so you know you're probably wondering why I'm in PA school but honestly I've been fine so far like there were a few things in urgent care where I was like oh my god but I know like part of my thing is I just need to get I just need to see things a few times and then I can like my body can like get over it but anyways so I just have like this intense anxiety and fear that I'm going to faint in the OR and I've never fainted in my life <laughs> but I feel like it's gonna happen and I don't know you know surgery the surgery rotation is not like your pediatrics rotation it is a completely different ball game and i just feel like it's going to be completely different than anything that i've done so i know this is not a video about my surgery rotation that will come but i'm just letting you guys know that because i'm so happy right now with what i'm doing and i love this rotation i love the people i'm working with i love the things that i'm seeing i just feel like next week is gonna hit me really hard we're mentally preparing i warned my boyfriend because his birthday is the sunday before surgery starts and i'm like i need to try so hard not to cry like five times that day because I'm just gonna be so nervous but anyways that'll be like another issue so pediatrics I just I just love it I love everything about it um the schedule is amazing I feel like the people that work in pediatrics are just so kind like 
everyone that I've met through this has just been so lovely. I've talked about this like so many times, but just I get so excited and passionate about like, you know, these kids and what they're experiencing, like whatever it is they're coming in for. Something I've really, really loved is the psych aspect of peds, managing ADHD, depression, anxiety, that sort of stuff. I've realize that I'm like very much passionate and interested in that we see a lot of ADHD like a lot and I'm finding it so interesting so yeah this rotation's just been so lovely like yesterday we had a slow day and the preceptor that I was with um, taught me how to do surgical knots taught me how to do single hand and double hand and I'm like that's such a relief and that was so nice of her to sit down with me and teach me also yesterday we had an asthma clinic which I hadn't experienced yet so basically a bunch of kids with possible or known um, asthma diagnoses and we did like PFTs so to see kind of how their lungs were working and then based off of those results we kind of changed their medication or kept it the same and that was just really helpful because asthma like there are so many different freaking inhalers and so many different like forms of them that like that was just nice to see I don't know I just feel like I've learned a lot I feel like I've gotten really confident in my abilities to like take a history to see what's going on I'm getting way better with physical exam physical exam on little ones that like literally don't want to sit still and will scream just when you're looking in the ears is a little bit challenging I've gotten better I've given a few shots yeah I just love it and I'm just really happy I need to remember that if this next rotation goes poorly well first of all I really need to change my mindset I need to not be such a negative Nelly but let's say it goes poorly I need to remember that it's not forever and as a PA you can find so many jobs that you will love and I think that's also what I'm getting excited about now is like I have so many options as a PA like so many places I can work if I get bored I can go learn something new so I'm just like very excited about my career you guys I graduate this year I graduate in August I was just talking to my preceptor I'm like my life is about to change so drastically like I'm a student right now just like living my happy little life it's stressful for sure but like adult like because we were talking about health insurance like adult things are about to happen like so soon it's I'm gonna be flipped upside down but honestly I'm so ready for it I am so ready to make money and to be independent and to like have a job that I'm like not bouncing around from like every month to month live in a place that I love anyways I'm babbling basically I got there at 7 today for appointments that are kind of like sick visits so like a specific problem focused issue um, they usually have me go in get a history maybe do a physical exam and then report back to them and then we go in together and then for well childs which are like your yearly physicals lots of times we'll go in together it just depends they'll ask me questions but they won't be like grilling me and making me feel stupid. I have an hour lunch break usually, so that's really nice. That's what I'm on now. And then today we'll have patients from 1 to 3.30 and then I will be on my merry little way. So today the agenda, fingers crossed, is to work out, make dinner, edit my YouTube video. So that's the plan for the night. <laughs> my little lunch buddy. We're back home. It is 4.30. So yeah, work was really good today. Nothing crazy today. Very much standard things that we were seeing. It is so hard, you guys, right now in the winter here in Michigan. Today it's like 38 degrees, pouring rain, like just rain, 38 degrees, cold, so icky, so gross, and I just like... All I want to do is eat, even though I'm not hungry. All I want to do is eat and like lay in bed. And honestly, I was thinking earlier today, January really can hit me hard sometimes, like in terms of like, I'm going to call it seasonal depression. I know it's not like actually depression that I'm experiencing, but like there is a significant change in my motivation, in my drive to like do anything. <sighs> So I'm really trying to get through it. And I feel like it's really normal. We were talking about this at work today too. It is what it is. So I have to like congratulate myself. This is what I like remind myself. I have to congratulate myself and pat myself on the back for the little things. For getting up at 5.45 a.m. For working a full shift today and doing a good job and like being kind to my patients and like asking thoughtful questions. Like it's like literally the little things that I'm like, okay, you're doing good. And now we're about to go down to the gym and work out, which is like, cruel <laughs> and unusual punishment. I really try to work out about four times a week 
sometimes five times if I'm having like a good week and just like a lighter schedule. This week will probably be about four times because I know every time after I work out, I feel so much better about life, which might be why, why I'm feeling a little funky today because I didn't work out yesterday or anything. We're going to work out. We're going to do leg day, which is also cruel and unusual punishment. It's just the worst day of the week. Literally all black outfit. I'm going to put these on. I love these for leg day because they're quite stable. We got my headphones and my water. So we're gonna go do leg day. Leg day at my apartment is way easier than leg day at the gym just because there's less stuff, but it's gonna be quad focused. We're gonna do 15 minute incline walk and then I'll see what I get up to and I can try to film if there's nobody there, but I get really uncomfortable if there's people there so then we won't film if that's the case, but then I'll tell you guys about it. When we get back to the apartment and do a full body shower that I literally cannot wait for. Got back upstairs. I was in the process of filming my little workout and my phone ran out of storage completely. So anyways, I really prefer to show rather than tell, but I'll tell you guys what I did. So I did a 15 minute incline walk and then I did step ups, kind of on a bench, like you're holding dumbbells using one leg to step up. Quad, booty, focused, super set with uh, Romanian deadlifts and then 10 squat jumps. And then we did the hamstring curl thingy. We did 10 reps and then superset that with reverse lunges, eight per leg. And then I finished with the leg press machine and superset the leg press machine with um, goblet squats. So pretty good workout. I burned 311 calories, so I'm, I'm content with that. We'll go ahead and stop that workout. And now it's 5.43. I need to do a full body shower immediately. We're making dinner. I have little chicken thingies going in here and I'm about to get some veggies going in here. So this is dinner, basically rice, barbecue chicken, a little mix of beans, corn, and zucchini, and avocado, topped with cheese, and topped with more barbecue sauce. Really easy to make, honestly, and I feel like this is gonna be very, very filling. Dinner is done, I just cleaned up the dishes, wiped off the counters, and now I have lunch for tomorrow. Just the best part. I'm literally gonna bring this, even though there's nothing in here, but I need a little extra on top. And I usually like to bring something sweet. Finally done with my stocking stuffer. So two of these little chocolates. And then every night I literally need something sweet. So I bought these from like this local kind of farmer's market situation. They're little white chocolate covered pretzel hearts. So good. So it's 8 o'clock, which means it's officially time to chill tonight. And I'm actually gonna go to my boyfriend's house and then do what we've been doing for so long, which is watch Yellowstone. We're like addicted. I have my lunch <laughs> right here. I already packed earlier. I packed after my shower, but we gotta get my work stuff ready, which isn't that much. I leave most of like the supplies there every day. So we'll be, I don't need my laptop for work, but I want it when I get back to his house tomorrow night. So we have that. And then also in here, I have my iPad, which is what I'll actually use um, at work. So that's good. I packed already protein bars because I usually eat one for breakfast so we have that my glasses are on it's also a book that I'm studying with right now for surgery it's surgical recall so I have that in here and then I have my handy dandy base bag <laughs> everything in there including workout stuff oh my lord this is gonna be a lot to carry because then I have this and then I'm just gonna put my jacket on and then head over and then I think I'll take a few clips there but it's really not gonna be anything special